Okay, let's record this class. How are you today? Tell me. Is everything good? Yes, everything is good. All right. Tell me, how, how was the, the end of the book? Did you finish uh, Refugee, the book? Refugee, yes. Uh-huh. Oh, and you are reading now the Spanish version book, right? I already it. How is it? It's really good. Hmm. Some of the parts I really couldn't like understand, but most of them, um, I did. Because I'm not perfect at Spanish. Uh, it takes time. But mm -hmm. the, the good thing about being bilingual is that you have more opportunities. You think about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the better one, you know what it is? I mean, besides, you can get different jobs of, or, or an opportunities in different countries. <laughs> Um, you can also talk to different clients or people, but the most important one and which people don't talk about is that a second language can open the doors to different ones. For example, I, I can speak four languages. I speak Castilian, which is Spanish. I speak English. I speak Italian and I speak German. So four languages. And I learned the other two thanks to English because... I use it as a, how you call it, it's a jumping board. And it was easy. So it's always good to be bilingual. Now, um, what is it for today? Oh, yes, today is our nice club. Today, tonight, excuse me. Tonight, we have a well, different schedule now. And tonight, we have um, a final essay writing. Okay. So this is what I would like you to do. Is, is there any option that you can share your screen? Yes, share and host the same button the shared screen. Uh -huh. All right. So try to share your screen. Mm, screen. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, that's good, I can see it. Now, this is what I would like you to do. Today, as our last class of the essay process, next week we will have different classes. Um, starting next week, I will teach you more about writing emails, um, letters, maybe to, to write a, a, book um, a book review. One of the books, we can do a review. But today, what I want to do is, um, to see how much you have learned of uh, writing an essay, okay? Okay. Um, and I will pick <clears throat> a very nice essay question um, so you can write about, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So how, how about this one? Uh, I have different topics, but so let me choose one for you. Maybe, hmm. oh, this is very classic, listen. Every country in the world has problems with pollution and damage to the environment. Do you think these problems can be solved one day? So let me repeat. Every country in the world has problems with pollution and damage to the environment. Question. Do you think these problems can be solved? Do you think these problems can be solved? Uh -huh. All right. Now, to help you with two ideas to include in your five paragraph essay, I have the following notes. Note number one, talk about transport. Okay, transport. Hmm. The second note or idea that you can write about is rivers and seas, which we know are the ending part of our wastes. We end up wasting things in, in the ocean, right? So first note is transportation or transport. The second note is rivers and seas. And the third one 
you can provide the third option, the third note, or the third point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what else would you like to include? Remember, the question is, do you think the environmental problems or pollution can be solved? Hmm. What else? Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. They're, they're factories, popular. because most of the factories use, uh, emit like gases that are not good for the environment. Definitely. Basically pollution. Definitely a good one. That's a good one. All right. Now show me. How you how do you tackle this? How do you stop? Uh -huh. Why is it not adding me? There. <laughs> Paragraph one. Intro, that's last. Okay, I like it. I like that style. B2. B2 is transportation. And we just lay everything out. Uh, a couple spaces, yeah. Um, three, okay. Period two would be transportation.
Good job, Anthony. Good job. It looks good. It looks good. Looks good. Looks really good. I just can't imagine if, if it's looking that good for a, a starting point of a draft. Hmm. How good is going to be at the end after the revision? Doing good. You're doing great.
Wonderful. That final part is great because it's very true. That that information is, is really important. Mm -hmm. Nice. How would you start?
<sighs> okay. I think so far, this is a step number one and number two together, which I like it. I, I really liked it because you're saving time. If we check the time, it's 8.24. We started four minutes after the introduction, which is the greeting, et cetera, et cetera. So we have 20 minutes, which you took, in order to create this base. This is great timing, great. Now, the next minutes, which are a total of, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, I would say, you will invest your time by checking each paragraph and seeing what can make better than it is now. Right now it is good, but you need to make sure that you don't have repetition. Okay, redundancy on words. That you are not omitting uh, mistakes with grammar, equations, or capital letters. But that is easier because you're using a, a word editor. But this is the time that you become a teacher. Don't think like a student. Think like you are the master on essays. And you are checking your, I don't know, little brother, for example. Little brother's uh, work. Now, Try to find the mistakes and correct them. Very smart. I like that. I never thought about that. You can do that in every Word document. Um, for my Chromebook, I press Control F. Mm, interesting. This is great. Control F. Mm -hmm. And I can find any word that's in this document. Wonderful. And you find what which repeats, and you can change it. Yeah. Very smart. I like that. What other word do I think mm -hmm. I've used? Ours. There are a ton of quality or words. There are a lot in this. Is there another word for like these? Recycle, reuse, and reduce? Those are the classic ones. You can say recycle or maybe renewable, maybe uh, renewable. Uh, uh, recyclable, renewable, reused, reduced. But those are classic ones. You should keep them because those are the principal three R's to protect the environment. So they should be there. Yeah. So that's the thing. You have to decide which vocabulary is important to keep and which one is not. And those are very important because everybody knows that we have to use them in order to protect our environment. So I would suggest to just leave them. Okay. I don't think I have any repetition. All right. Then start reading each paragraph again. Okay. Number one, introduction. Every country in the world has problems with pollution and the environment. There are multiple issues in the world in the world and there are some we just cannot solve. Does cannot count as a conjunction? Mm -hmm. It does? It's, I, I think it's good, but you can say can and separate it without, it's okay. Yeah, cannot, you just cannot solve. Mm -mm, you need the verb to be, cannot be solved. 
Yes. Uh -huh. Space? Mm -hmm. Be solved. Yeah, uh -huh. good. Yeah, this is the classic after verb to be. You need to be solved, to be organized, to be experienced easy. All right. Hmm. Not be solved. But today we will talk about three things we can change to help us. To help us what? To help, to help us. us and the Oh, okay. Hmm. I like this, it's, um, how do you call this? The word playing game. You're playing with words to make it sound like the, the environment is also a person. And as humans, it needs to be healthy. That's a good way. I like that. This is very catchy, interesting. But one thing. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just very, uh, how you say this, uh, perfectionist. But I, the, the first line of the introduction is the same as instruction. Maybe you could paraphrase it. If, if I can ask for that, can you reorganize it, the first line? Mm. So it's not exactly as the, the, the first instruction. So remember the rule of paraphrasing. Read the sentence, close your eyes, and tell it to me in, in other words. Don't try to copy exactly. So, paraphrasing. <laughs> you are rolling. Great, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, sounds good. Both the pollution and the environment. Is that good? Um, I'm not satisfied, but it's good. I think you can do better with the last few words after, before the full stop. Have problems with pollution and the environment. How could you say that in other words? Mm -hmm. All right. What is the problem with the environmental issues? For example, what happens to the Key West all the time? We have hurricanes. Or maybe what happens in, in the West Coast in California because of the wildfires, right? Mm -hmm. So what is this? This is cause this is causing damage to who? That's two periods. Okay. Sounds good. Can you read now it again? The entire sentence looks completely different but has the same meaning. Sounds good. Yes, yes, it's good. But also remember, as you are making changes, you're adding more and more ideas into your introduction. If you do that, the teacher, when reads or the reader reading the introduction, they will say, Oh, there are many things here. Isn't, isn't that supposed to be only one idea for paragraph? R read it, read it again and try to organize it as a unit. We can. I think you need something here yeah. between we can, we can what? Change to help us or something like that? We can. It is good, yes, but I feel like it, it can be improved. 
I know. Anthony, read the beginning of the paragraph. Many places in the world have issues with gases entering the atmosphere and the environmental issues with humans and the animals with us. Uh -huh. You're talking in third person. Places in the world, the atmosphere, with humans. So you're not part of the humans. And then you say with us. So I think that us, you should change it for something different. Hmm. Humans and animals are together. They are inhabitants of the planet. Great. You understood paraphrasing. Good. All right. So what do you think about the paragraph now? Mm, this these blue lines are still bothering me. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, uh, many views in the world. It looks good. Yeah, but the blue lines that you told me that they were bothering you, maybe that the, the the meaning is it needs to be corrected. Let's read it here. Here it says, there are multiple issues in the world, and there are some, other, I mean other issues, comma, that just cannot be solved you are missing the comma there ah, that just cannot be solved but today hmm, that just cannot be solved by somebody hmm. maybe it's because cannot i don't know you no it's okay you can say cannot and separate them together let's just put it together choose a, the one that says together cannot okay okay cannot be solved yeah, it's all right but today we will talk about three things we can change to help us and the environment stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's one thing. When we talk about others and then about ourselves, for example, the other day I was with my friends uh, or my friends were with me. Or maybe I can say I go with my brother, my sister, my mom and I. Oh, we went to this movie. Who? My brother, my sister, my mom, and I. So I refer to my person at the end. Did, did you know that rule? Yes. Okay. So here you say the last line. We can change to help us should be more to the end, right? The environment and... Uh-huh and us uh -huh. you're missing stay something to, to 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 stay healthy yeah so keep this rule in mind when you talk about different people and you include yourself or a group that is part of you that goes at the end it's a, it's a formality and this is a formal register text now the introduction is entertaining it's great. Just leave it like that. Don't touch it. Just leave it like that. Okay, let's move on to the next paragraph. Second one. Okay. Many transportation things. Uh, vehicles. No, wait, that's repetition. Transportation things, I can't think of anything better. Well. What's another word for vehicles? Yeah, like that, vehicle. Many transportation vehicles. Oh, but isn't that repetition? No. Vehicles you can, and vehicles you can talk right about, here. You can also say means of transportation, uh, transportation units. Yeah, because we have the transportation vehicles, we have the transportation offices, we have the transportation fees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Manage transportation units to make gases that are not healthy for the environment. Some examples are cars, trains, and some boats. We can solve these problem, pro, eh, problems by using electric vehicles or using fuels that are not dangerous for the environment. I like that, but it's too short. Look at the introduction. It has four lines, and this one has barely three. 
we need to include more information. Can you make it up? Like, try to give more content to it. It's still the same. Keep the content there, but include more. Hmm. Which gases? For in the first line, for example, I would like to know. Maybe I have a, an, an SUV, and I don't know if it's, it probably my SUV is going to cause this emission problem. I need to know what type of gases. In the first line, in the first line of the second paragraph, many transportation units emit gases that are not healthy for the environment, such as, for example, Only one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Such as um, uh, carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. That's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. To most. Coma, Coma which is very dangerous to most beings. Even people can die from that. I heard I heard stories of people, um, you know, falling asleep and and they just breathe this and they can die. Hmm? Yeah, you said such as carbon dioxide, which can be dangerous for for who? Mm -hmm. All right, I like that. Some examples are cars, trains, and some boats. We can solve these problems by using electric vehicles or using fuels that are not dangerous for the environment. Okay, so these problems, you talk about plural, but this is just one which is the emission of gas. Mm -hmm. So it's only one. And you're saying these, you are saying these problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, vehicles are using fuels. Okay, now it is good. I liked it. Yeah, I think it's good. It's still shorter than the introductory paragraph, but it's good, yeah. Hmm, I have a question, Anthony. Yes. I'm reading your essay, maybe, I don't know, in a newspaper uh, sample, uh, for example. And I, I have a muscle car. I have a, I don't know, maybe a, a Chevy 71, I don't know, an Impala. And I like my muscle car. But it, then I read that I should change or switch to an electric vehicle. And it, what could be... Uh, not very tempting for me to switch. Maybe that it has not power, it is not very versatile, uh, I don't know, it looks girly, I don't know. W what could you suggest the readers that this electrical vehicle is a good option to? By using electric vehicles, by using electric vehicles that that don't mm, do not mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. fuels and uh, run on um, Electricity, mm -hmm. comma, or vehicles that are not dangerous for the mm -hmm. I can't click on this, so I'm gonna have to 
electricity. You have a C after the L. You need to yeah, I know. I just can't click on it, so I'm just going to have to press the arrow a bunch of times. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Repetition alert. Alert, alert, alert. Fuse, fuse, fuse. Right. There's or a no. lot. Oh, 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 I think you, 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 no, you don't have enough fuel. That is good. That's good. Only one on that one. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's only one. No, I mean, on the second paragraph. Go a little up. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. That's good. Yeah, no more fuels than that. That's great. I thought you had two more. Now, the third paragraph, please. Mm -hmm. Most of our trash ends up in the seas, and that waste kills a lot of aquatic animals. You can solve this problem by using the three R's. Recycle. No, I think it's reduce, reuse, and recycle. May I, the, the order is not going to change anything, but it's okay. Recycle, reuse, recycle, yes. Let me look that up. Recycle. You can recycle plastic bottles and aluminum cans. We can reuse paper bags and keep them stored for when we need them. We can reduce our disposals by using other things that can be recycled or reused. I like that. Yes, it's good. I use the term trash in multiple ways, but use synonyms. Mm -hmm. Trash here, mm -hmm. waste here, mm -hmm. and disposals here. <laughs> Amazing. You understood. Yeah, perfect. I, I wouldn't change anything. I think it's clear. Yeah, and also gives a solution. We can reuse paper bags and keep them stored for when we need them later, right? And yeah, we can reuse our disposables by using other things that can be recycled or reused. I think these other things is too general. You could use other, I don't know. What what can you say more specific? Because other things is too general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So examples that I used before. Like plastic bottles. But plastic bottles can also damage the environment. Hmm. Recycling. Oh, oh, recycling. Yes, you're right. I forgot to read that part. I like that. That's perfect right there. Let's bottle or make more research. Using mm -hmm. paper bags. Mm -hmm. But then I don't need this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll you take already it. Seen it. Paper bags. Yeah, it's a good solution. Four four lines. I like that. It looks good. Paragraph number four. Factories emit carbon dioxide and other dangerous gases. You can use different types of fuels or use wind or solar energy. Or you can also reduce the use of fossil fuels and use renewable ones. You can use less factories and create more space for things that will protect our environment. Yeah, that paragraph was good. I like the, 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 last, the last line. We can use less factories and create more space, you know, for things that will protect our environment. Hmm. And we can create the space left from those factories for things or for projects or maybe ideas or solutions that will protect our environment. Space left from uh, the things that will protect our environment, like mm -hmm. that's good. Like what? Oh, uh, plants create oxygen, so more plants 
and trees. Okay. To do what? Trees. To do what? To produce more oxygen. Mm -hmm. Um more on the hospitals. Mm -hmm. Hospitals for health. That's something. Hospital. The T before P. Mm -hmm. More hospitals for health. Yeah, I think that's good. And one more. Health and what else? Maybe more opportunities for work, more job opportunities, right? Yeah. Because people will be building these areas and that causes economic growth. The economic growth is very important specifically well for pandemic season like we're we're living now uh, okay i like that you expand you you just expanded or made bigger a paragraph which had only almost three lines that's really good now you have to read it because so many changes can also be dangerous. Mm. Factory using carbon dioxide and other dangerous gases. We can use different types of fuels or use wind or solar energy. We can also reduce the use of fossil fuels and use renewable ones. We can use less factories and create space left for the factories for things that will protect our environment, like more plants and trees to produce more oxygen. Oxygen, more hospitals for health, and more job opportunities and schools for teaching more people people wonderful yes education is power nice okay let's go to the last paragraph to sum it up we have a lot of problems with pollution and the environment there are those issues are transportation rivers and seas transportation rivers and seas and factories what are some other things that we can solve to help our environment Mm -hmm. But you, but you are not stating the the answer of the question here, which is: Do you believe that these problems will be solved one day? Remember the Remember question. That? Do you think these problems can be solved? Hmm. You're providing the solutions, so for for that reason, and ergo, it means that you think so. And that sentence fits good with the third one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, there's I some think... other things we can solve to help you to help our environment. Yeah, exactly. And you can also say, I think we can solve these problems as we just read or as stated as a state them as stated in the previous paragraphs, right? Because you're providing the problem, you're showing the problem, and also solution in each one. In the previous in the previous paragraphs. Mm -hmm. What are some other things we can solve to help our environment? Yes, I like that. That's really good. Let me read it one more time. To sum it up, we have a lot of problems with pollution and the environment. Three of those issues are transportation, rivers, and sea. Whoa, we're talking about topics now. Transportation and factories, but then rivers and seas. What are those in the end? They are our trash um, destination, the trash place, 
How do we, how, how can you call that? How can I call that? How can you call rivers and seas? Humans use rivers and seas for what? For their personal garbage can, right? Yeah. So that's what I mean. Public garbage can. <laughs> yeah, but that's too strong. Three of those issues, three of these problems are transportation, the trash can, and the factories. But how can we call the trash can instead of rivers and seas? We know that that's the idea. We have that very, I don't know, incredible idea that our oceans are our trash cans. We just dump everything there. Trash and rivers and seas and factories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I had just that idea, but I don't know which word it should fit right here. Transportation, not trash. That's. Uh -huh. I mean, I'd like to trash. Yes, we need to find a word that it's not trash. We know humans, we believe rivers and also oceans are places where we can throw our garbage, our trash, but there we cannot call them trash though. Because, and also you say three of these issues and you recognized it because you said that there are three of these issues. And the first issue is transportation. Another issue is factories. And which is the third issue? You have two things here, here rivers and seas. How do you well, make I talked them? about sea, so I'm going to remove rivers. Exactly. That's another thing, because all the rivers go to the sea. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, it's an easy, there's an easy way to find more words for trash. And it's called... Let me see. Waste, waste material, fuse, litter, garbage, debris, debris, junk, dross, detritus, leavings, drugs, remains, rubbish. I like debris. Okay, use it. The debris destination, maybe we could say that. Debris. R. Debris. And seas. And factories. Hmm. Very nice. Powerful and nice. I like it. Mm hmm. Yeah. I guess we are perfect in time. Three more minutes to finish. Perfect. Yeah. One hour to do a good essay. Now put it, put it all together under the title, which is the question, and send it to my email. Don't forget to sign it before you send it, okay? Before sending it, put, put your name, Anthony Basurto, and remove the P3 and only just leave. Don't forget to use capital letter to start. Yeah. I know it's basic, but you know, it's a good fit. Um. They, they, all the paragraphs should fit in just one page. I need to um, uh, fix some of this. Mm -hmm. Capitalization. Mm -hmm. There, now it's on one page. Mm -hmm. Capitalization. And it looks like there's a space right here. Yep. Make faces. I don't like this being like this. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
Just get, get rid of the intro word and number one there. Yeah. yeah. Not that. <laughs> yeah. And the title should be the question, the one on the top. That is important. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right there, underlined. Do you think this blah, 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 blah? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank you. Send it in. That's it for tonight. I will see you next week. Um, I have to talk about uh, the schedule, but we will have uh, our regular classes through the week. No more Saturday. I'm very busy okay. Saturday. But okay. it was a pleasure. As always. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to send it. I'm sending it right now. All right, man. Take care. Bye now.